I hope in the remaining weeks of the election campaign, all three of the leading parties and all of the parties will take a, a more in-depth look than they have at housing, which is an important part of what they all acknowledge to be the most important issue in this campaign, which is the economy and jobs. I hope they will take another hard look at housing policy in the case of Toronto, and I think other cities face the same challenge in different ways. We have a huge bill for the repair of uh, social housing that's in existence today, and we need some federal help with that. Federal leaders ignore housing at their peril right now. We've, we have a housing crunch right across the country. Maybe five or ten years ago, the, the political pressure was not uh, significant. What's changed is across the country homelessness continues to grow and there's massive pressure on uh, low to middle income families in our cities. Uh, they cannot afford to uh, buy in cities. Uh, rental housing uh, has not been built for decades and we're, we're trying to do what we can on the ground in our cities with local incentives but it's not enough to deal with uh, the loss of rental housing and the increase in demand. So uh, the pressure is, is very significant because so many Canadians right now are feeling the crunch and, and unable to access affordable housing in our cities. Uh, and they see people, uh, uh, the most vulnerable people on the streets right now are very visible. So I think it's, a, it's time that housing got attention uh, in this election. It historically, has not been a, a significant issue and that's why we're here to change that.